Hey everyone, and welcome to The Drip. This is the show where we give you our brutally honest opinions about what all your favorite celebrities are wearing. I'm your host, Ava Twitterisi. And I'm Gabby Conti. Let's get into it. We are talking about the necklace that took many people's breaths away. I'm talking about the lung necklace that Bella Hadid wore recently. Two cans, yes, Bella Hadid's giant brass lung necklace that she wore to the 2021 Cannes Film Festival. Bella had called this look a dream come true, but some critics are calling this necklace a nightmare. Bella wore this piece to the screening of three floors at Cannes. She paired this statement necklace with a um, Shia Parelli hot couture long sleeve black dress that showed off her chest displayed in her gilded brass necklace adorned with rhinestones of human lung polarity veins uh, attached to a chain. Uh, Bella shared a, uh, this, uh, shared a shot of this look on her Instagram story thanking creative director um, at um, Shia Parelli, Daniel Rosenberry, for this look saying, quote, this creation of yours is a dream come true. So there is the look. Um, I will say it's important to note that this was on her Instagram story. This dress does not exist on her main feed. Ava, do you think that's telling? Um, I don't really know. I I mean, maybe she's busy and she hasn't found like a... She posted her other cons dress. The one you like better, the one you like. She posted that. I know, that. I really did like the black and white one that she wore. Okay, I'm gonna say a few things about this. Okay, let's hear it. Here's what makes me angry. <laughs> angry? Here's what makes me angry. Okay. Why are you wearing purple earrings when you have this big centerpiece on your chest? Why are you wearing those purple earrings? You're so right. What, what are you doing? What are you doing here? I don't know. Why? Does she, she doesn't even need earrings. Like, she doesn't even need stuck, earrings. Like, maybe, what is going on maybe here? Maybe two like small gold petite earrings, studs, uh, hoops. But I must say, uh, I think her body is just insane. Yes. And I think if someone's gonna pull off this necklace on her chest, it's gonna be her <laughs> with this gown. I like how her her hair is up, thank goodness. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the purple earrings. Uh, I think that when you dress like this and you wear outfits like this, you're taking a risk because you wanna make a statement and you wanna be talked about. And I think that this outfit definitely did do that and she was definitely the talk of the night. You see Bella Hadid, Topless with a long <laughs> with necklace. Lung, yeah, that's her. That's her shirt. The top is the necklace. Yes, which I think is really interesting. I've never seen anyone do that before. If, if you have bigger boobs, you cannot pull this off. No, it's not going to happen. No. It would go like in between mine. But here it is again. This is a side look. So yes, you can see it is definitely covering her breast. It is over where her lungs really are. We're almost like getting X-ray vision of Bella's lungs here. And let's look at her. Okay, so I like her nails with this. Yes. I don't like her eyeshadow. No. I don't like the ring, and I don't like the earrings. What, well, Bella? Yeah, the ring is like also another like statement earring, statement like too much jewelry. Just focus on the necklace. Everything else I feel like should be bare. I also feel like her her makeup should have been a little bit more minimal. And then I don't know if you can tell, but her her hair is in a bun, and then there's like a ponytail coming out of the bun, which is like I'm personally not a fan of. It reminds me of like trying to do your hair for a ballet recital and like not getting all the hair. And it falls bun, out. And it like falls out. Like that's what this look like right here. See, that's her hair coming down. You know what I think would have been cooler? What? Okay, she's at this insane event. I understand she's the top France. celebrities. Yeah. I, I I get it. I haven't been there. Maybe one day I get it. <laughs> but maybe if the necklace was black with all black diamonds and Ooh. she had her hair up with maybe no earrings, with her black nails. Maybe that would have been better. I think so too. Maybe her I mean, gold diamonds or something. You Something's missing. You also can't see, apparently there is rhinestones all over this, like all in here. You can't see it. No, because I can't. Because the, either they're too tiny or the gold and the, the shine of the gold is making it hard to see. I mean, I'm sure this necklace is very, very expensive. I'm also curious how heavy it is. Dude, this looks kind of like a heavy piece, but obviously a trained model would never let you know that. I I don't know I I don't like her hair in the back. See, that, what yeah, is that? What is, what is it? It's either are you doing a bun or are you doing a ponytail or half a pick half down? One. Pick one. This is this is not no 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 no. no. And also and also how it's like braided at the top. I, like she literally, if you got rid of that, it looks like she is about to be in a ballet recital. Yeah, and I think that looks better personally. That yeah, piece off, sure. or maybe a slick ponytail. But like I said, this look is definitely really expensive. Just the jewelry alone and the gown, it fits her. Uh, I would have to rate this look an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10, All Even right. though it's maybe- You cost, have a lot of notes. Cost it's an eight the same out of 10. as like an apartment, to be honest. <laughs> 
<laughs> maybe eight, eight out of ten. If we, oh. Only because she looks so good. She she could really wear a paper bag over her head and a trash bag on her body and go on the red carpet and look better than anyone. But then else. no one would know she was Bella Hadid if she has a trash bag. You know what? But her body, her just, she looks really good. It's everything. <laughs> So it's uh, really good. Did Walking Phoenix do that? Someone did that. They wore a paper bag over their head. I don't know. And then she. Oh, this is the whole dress. I don't so you know because the it's like poking. It's like I don't know. I don't, I don't know how she's smiling wearing that. I would be <laughs> frowning. I would be in so much pain. I already have like shoulder issues and neck issues. Like she had to have gotten like a really good massage after that. Or this is somehow light, like completely light. But I think. With designer, it never is. Like, this is definitely heavy. I bet you this is real gold, like, real diamonds. Like, there's no way this is, like, a light piece of jewelry. I don't know. I would rate it. Okay, I, I like I like the idea. I don't like the execution. I don't like the, I don't like the earrings. I'm taking off points for the earrings. I'm taking off points for the bun pony, whatever the hell that is. I'm taking off a point for the statement ring and I'm taking off a point for, no, that's it. I, I, okay, I get the idea of it. So I'm gonna give this a five out of 10. Sorry, Bella, the deeds don't come at me. Oh my gosh, and I wish we could, if, if you guys saw her other black and white gown, it's it was much better. one of That's the most magnificent things. That's that iconic. She, she wore it to the same uh, event. Also, what is Bella Hadid doing at a film festival? Is she in a movie? Like, why is she there? Uh, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching The Drip. I'm Gabby Conti. And I'm Ava Tortorisi. And follow us at Hollywire for your 24-7 celebrity news.